isomers are compounds with the same molecular formula but different structural formula and we get largely speaking two types of isomers those being structural isomers and functional isomers under structural isomers we get two types there called chain isomers and positional isomers where we can see here a chain isomer for example something with a formula C5H12 could either be a simple 5 carbon chain it could be a 4 carbon chain with a single branch or a 3 carbon chain with two branches all of these have the formula C5H12 and it's called a chain isomer because the chain length has changed and any of these three are considered chain isomers of each other a positional isomer is one where the position of one of the branches or one of the functional groups has changed so here we have an alcohol where in the first case the hydroxyl group is on the first carbon in the second case the chain remains the same but the hydroxyl group is now located on the second carbon and in the third scenario the chain length remains the same once again but the hydroxyl group is now on the third carbon these are said to be positional isomers of each other because all that has changed is the position of one of the groups on that molecule once again chain and positional isomers are both examples of structural isomers functional isomers come in two variations the first is that between esters and carboxylic acids and that says that the only possible functional isomer for an ester is a carboxylic acid as we can see in this example both of these two compounds the ester and the carboxylic acid both have the formula C3H6O2 but it is simple to identify the functional isomer for an ester because it will be a carboxylic acid with that same number of carbons similarly but less common we find that aldehydes and ketones are functional isomers of each other because all that is changing here is in an aldehyde we have the formal group which is where that carbonyl is placed on the first carbon and in a ketone we have that carbonyl group not on the first carbon once again both of these have exactly the same molecular formula that being C4H6O2